Okay, you guys, so this is just going to be a quick video. I just wanted to show you what the interface looks like, how to log in, and to also dispel any mystery. Some people are confused, and I'm seeing a lot of people asking, is Create Studio an online program? And I get why you would think that, because I keep saying that it's a lot like Canva.com, which is a site where from the web page you can go in and edit your photos and do whatever you want directly on the web page. What Create Studio is, though, is a software that you actually download. It can be downloaded on both Mac and Windows. Nobody's going to be left out here. There's apps for it, all of that good stuff. But um, so it's an actual software, which means you're going to have an icon on your computer with it. And I pinned it to my dock because I use it a lot. But this is what the login window looks like. So welcome to Create Studio. We're going to put our email address. I'm using an example account. Uh, mass market network at gmail.com and then my password and then I'm just gonna hit login boom so here's your software you can organize this with folders and you know drag them into it to make this look pretty you can do whatever you want there you have your learning studio the Facebook group um, which is really great to talk to other people who are learning the program right now as well you have your templates in here, your home, like this is the basics. So that's how you log in to Create Studio. Um, let me just open up a new project for you guys just so you can see what it looks like. New project five, just because I have so many going on this side. We're gonna make the preset um, quality higher. Create project now, boom. This is what the video editor looks like. You have so many features. There's a studio with all sorts of great stuff for you. You can import your own media. You can use some of the free options that they have available to you. Um, there's really endless things you can do in this program. Um, one of the features that I really like is the ability to layer. So whether it's your logo or anything, like you can put a video happening within the bounds of your logo, which looks really cool. This program really just does it all. If you're somebody who's a little bit more animation inclined, maybe you took some classes in school, maybe it's a side hobby or hustle of yours, something like that. Create Studio, besides just having like a really easy to use beginner friendly interface, also has settings that go really in depth into the animations. And so if you wanted to edit, let's bring Paul into this. Hey Paul, okay, so we have Paul over here. I'm going to change his animation and I have videos showing you how to do all of this um, far more in depth. Again, this is just like a general overview, but really quick. So I'm going to have him, no, skateboarding. Okay, cool. So we have our dude Paul here skateboarding. So I haven't added the motion in yet, which would bring him from one part of the screen to another. You can do that. You can change all sorts of different things that you want to. I can also automatically center him, make him fit to canvas. I can make him super duper tiny, whatever. But if I right click on the actions or the animations, so let's add, I'm gonna add a motion coming in. So he's gonna slide in on the right. Let's save that. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and just take a peek at what that's gonna look like. So now he's moving. Um, I can also expand this so that it's going on while he's skateboarding around the place. But what I want to do is just show you guys, if you right click on this, you have the animation settings. So you have these, the X and the Y axis, which means you can really kind of like break down some of the features in here. But in other animations, you have the option to actually adjust things like the easing. So I think that what's really great about this program or one of the best things about the program is the fact that it has all these tools. All these tools are available for beginners. It took me an afternoon to learn the program. But if you're somebody who's way more advanced, this program is still really good for you too because not only is it easy to use and navigate, but it does have those advanced features without bogging down or confusing the basic things you do. So I think it's just overall a really great program and I really do think it's going to become really popular in the next year or two. And so I'm just going to keep creating some new tutorials for you guys as the program evolves and new templates come out and new studio features come out. 
just to keep you guys in the loop and show you how to do it. Hope you enjoyed.